So guess where I'm at? I'm at the Pathfinder Gathering 2018. Got my little campsite set up. And as you can see back behind me is where the Pathfinder gathering is taking place. It's really hot. I'm gonna enjoy a little downtime and uh, relax a little bit. Thanks for coming along. Dave Canterbury on a what is that? Oh, That's I it. forgot the name. It's like a boosted board. Mm -hmm. Awesome. is eventually your cutting edge will start folding over like that so what this honing steel does is it realigns that that edge back straight cool is all it's doing it's not really sharpening so you're, it's you're, just keeping the edge what they kind of roll over or the yeah it starts to roll yeah. it'll start to roll over and if you don't hone it it'll continue to roll over and then your knife is going to be dull and it just won't cut not like you want it to anyway i mean it'll sharpen to an extent but um just so do that again. Do the oh, if you don't care. Yep. Well, I'll let everything burn. It's not the safest way to go towards yourself, but that's the way I do it. You can do it this way. It's confusing to me to do it that way, but cool. I just do it so often, every time I touch my knife. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> time but it's oh, fun yes. and a lot of energy yeah here's mine this one's not bad yeah. after you carry it yeah i mean it really it in nice you get a nice little yeah. not bad stuff yeah so is that like a heavy canvas it's a double layer of duck canvas yeah and then i wax it with 100 percent pure beeswax so that's nice and you made the belt i'm sure yep, with that strap yep, yep. 
Do you need all that too? Yes, sir. It's it's triple riveted, double stitched. Holy cow! I've got it back on the inside. It's double stitched on the inside and seams. That and, is awesome. And then these, since it's 100% beeswax, I don't do any treatments to the edges. I did one, but I don't have any more. But you can pull those out, and you got beeswax impregnated thread. There you go. Yeah. You know, whether you need it for fire, or whether you need it that's stitching, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. And since they're doubled and a really bad pinch. Take your knife and cut the inside panel out. You still got a flap. Yeah. You got a whole candle wick there. Awesome. Or fire wick, yeah. whatever. And they do hold water. So. Oh, I say, yeah. Yeah, yeah bark yeah. should be able to hold water easily. Yeah. That is cool. And you can walk through the woods stinking to beat hell. But you got these wax. <laughs> Just rub a little bit of that underneath your armpits. You know, you're good to go. <laughs> so I'm here with uh, Chris from Exotac, and he's got some really cool new products to show. All right. Uh, this is a the rip spool. We introduced it with BattleBox a couple months ago, and it's pretty much a gear repair kit. Uh, what we did was we added a 550 cord fire cord lanyard to it, 50 inches of duct tape, 60 feet of a 30 pound test braid line, and then if you unscrew the bottom, you have a number 16 sail needle in it. That's cool. Now just. You know, for that it's just you know a basic gear repair kit, but you can also do a couple other things with it. There's enough room in this cavity right here where you can add some split shot sinkers, some number eight fishing hooks, number one safety pins, and turn into a emergency fishing kit. You can magnetize the needle and turn it into an improvised compass. You can leave the needle inside the spool area and use it as a punch for punch through canvas, punch through leather, and then you know along with that you have your duct tape and this and your needle for like just basic first aid stuff like cuts, blisters, uh, splinters, stuff like that. Just, you know, basic first aid things as well. So, that's awesome. you know, if you do, if you add a couple things to it, you have everything from a fire starter, fire extender, gear repair, fishing kit, uh, navigation, first aid. That's great. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. And uh, cool. it's, uh, I'm really, really a fan of it right now. A lot of people have been have seen pretty much love it. Cool. Uh, can we get that on your website too? Is it? That... Uh, it's not on the website yet. We're waiting on uh, getting new material in to spool up production on it okay. again because BattleBox took all pretty much all of ours. And then also we got packaging we're oh. coming in. So it's about maybe another month and a half, two months out until it's, you'll actually see it on our website. But awesome. it will be coming. We uh, we got we're back on logged on a couple projects right now. But it, it is coming. We will get out on the website. Cool. I appreciate you showing me. Yeah. Thanks. All right, I'm here with my friends from Georgia Bushcraft, and I want to talk about their fall gathering. Yeah. So, tell me about your fall gathering. Uh, fall gathering um, is going to be the first weekend in November. Uh, we expect um, about 200 plus people. We'll have around 20 to 25 vendors. We'll have 40 classes running out through the weekend, everything from falconry to blacksmithing, all your fire starting, all your basic bushcraft skills, act skills, um, just about anything you could think of. And um, the, the cost is um, $125 per adult. Um, we do have um, children pricing um, at $75. Um, now, does that include all the classes and stuff all, too? All classes, so you don't have to... yeah, all classes are included. The only thing is if you take a class where they use resources like leather making, um, you, it's like $20 for the leather, and you get to make your own leather sheath or your own leather pouch, um, things like that. Cool. But um, everything is everything's included, camping for the whole weekend. It runs from Friday morning at 9 until Sunday at noon. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So I'm with the River's Edge booth, all the vendors, and activities, it's been a good time. And if you look over here, you'll see my pack on display.
15 on the boat. Somebody had to be the captain. Had a good trip. Hanging out with Michael from VanQuest, the one of the designers from VanQuest. A very knowledgeable person. Uh, a lot of fun. Had a good time. It was just And I met Malcolm with the Hidden Woodsman. He is uh, already left the building. He sold out. Imagine that. <laughs> Check out the new VanQuest. Watching one of the challenges. They have nightly, nightly challenges. And this is fire and then tomahawk throwing. All right, come and collect your bread. In, in closing, I think the last thing I want to say is I have people ask me every single day, Dave, I want to do what you do. Dave, I want to do what you're doing for a living. Dave, I want to be able to make a living in bushcraft. I want to be able to be an instructor. I want to be able to do this, that, and the other things. And Iris and I have been beyond blessed for the last 10, 12 years. No question. Wow, this place is really beautiful. This is the last day of the Pathfinder Gathering 2018. Everybody's packing it up. Uh, it's a four day event. Um, I couldn't come down on Thursday because of work, so I, I made it here Friday. And this is Sunday morning. And we're packing up the booth, and I'm gonna help River's Edge pack up the booth, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, but I've really enjoyed hanging out with you guys and hanging out with Michael from VanQuest, the designer from VanQuest. Uh, hanging out with Malcolm from the Hidden Woodsman. He and I talked for a, a long time. I got to know him and uh, what a great guy. Um, hung out with, saw Dan from Coal Cracker Bushcraft and Dave of course running around. And I got to hang out with the guys from um, Wazoo Survival. That was really cool, Dustin's really cool. Uh, had a good time, had a real good time. So, hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.